moving to the last method to allocate service department costs, we're going to look at the reciprocal method. We're still using the exact same question. We're simply doing number four, allocate service department costs using the reciprocal method. The reciprocal method requires us to create formulas so that we can have IT recognize what they use of human resources and human resources recognize what they use of IT. Let's start with human resources. It really doesn't make any difference which one we start with. I'm just going to start with human resources. Human resources, the total costs for overhead, are equal to the cost that we have on the chart, which is $340,000. However, human resources is also using something from IT. So we've got to add in what they use of IT resources. How can we tell how much human resources is using from IT? Well, we go over here and we check out the IT row. So I'm looking only at the IT row and we see that human resources uses 650 of the total amount of IT resources that are being used up. So we've got to recognize that 650. We're going to take the 650 and what are we going to divide it by? Well, we're going to divide it by the total amount of information technology used up. Don't forget, again, we're looking at information technology, so we're going to use 650 plus 980 plus 1,200, and that total is going to be 2,830. Now, it's important to recognize two things. This is the driver for IT, and this is a direct cost from human resources. Quite frequently, students get these two things confused, so you want to make absolutely certain that you're clear about this. When we're looking at IT, we want to look at the row for the driver of IT. When we're looking at the human resource direct costs, we want to take human resource direct costs. Let's create the same type of formula, but this time for IT. IT has their own direct costs, 250000 But IT is also using human resources. What are they using from human resources? We're going to look at the human resource row and we're going to take the total of the human resource driver, 4, 12, and 26. Don't forget, 4 is the amount that information technology is using of human resources. We're going to take that 4 and divide it by 42. Now we've got two formulas. Again, notice that IT, this is equal to their direct costs, and for human resources, this is the human resource driver. Again, you'll notice that we use the information we had at the beginning of the row. This is the importance. Remember at the beginning I said, why do we do this? We do it because we use it over and over and over again. All right, so we've got the IT formula right here. We can take that formula and substitute it into this IT and we'll come up with one formula with only one unknown, which will be human resources. Let's do that. Human resources is equal to 340,000 plus 650 divided by 2,830. And now I'm going to replace IT with the IT formula. 250,000 plus 4 divided by 42 human resources. Now all we have to do is we have to solve for the human resource unknown. I'm going to do that on a new page because I'm going to run out of room. Now, keep in mind that when we put human resources on the left-hand side, this actually means that this is one human resource, right? This is a percentage over here. We've got a percentage of human resource, but on the other side, we actually have one. Let's solve. One human resource is equal to 340,000, and I take 650 divided by 2,830, multiply it by $250,000, and that equals $57,420. I also need to multiply 650 divided by 2,830 by 4 over 42. Now, often students calculate the percentage and then multiply them, but I don't like to do that. That ends up being really problematic. So instead, I take 650 and I multiply it by 4. That's going to be equal to 2,600. I then take the 2,830 and multiply it by 42. That equals 118,860. And then, of course, I need human resources. 
I now have one human resource is equal to 397,420 plus 0.02187447474 human resources. I can now move this over to the other side of the equation. One human resources minus 0.02187447474 human resources is equal to 397,420. 0 0.9781255526 human resources is equal to 397,420. Now if I divide both sides by 0 0.9781255526, I discover that human resources is equal to 397,420 divided by 0 0.9781255526, which is equal to 406,308. This is the amount of human resources, including their allocation for the IT that they consume. We can now take this amount for human resources and we can plug it into our previous formula for IT. That will get us the amount of IT. Let's do that. IT is equal to 250,000 plus 4 divided by 42 multiplied by 406,308. In that case, if we solve for this, IT is equal to $288,696. We now have an amount for both human resources, including their use of IT, and IT, including their use of human resources. By the way, I chose to start with the human resource equation and substitute in IT, but we could have just as easily started with IT and substituted in human resources. The result would have been exactly the same. Now we can allocate it to the operating departments. We'll check that out in the next video.